All right, so so far we've covered a couple basic types like ints and strings and bools and so forth. And I want to introduce in this module a new type called an enumerated type. So in this presentation, what we'll do is we'll look at what enumerated types are. We'll look at how we want to declare them and how we can use them in our code. And we're really going to learn about when is the proper time to use them. So let's review the following code and talk through how it really works. So what we're doing here to start with is we have this um, statement right here, weather, that is assigned to a string value of sunny. And we've also highlighted the actual print that's going to happen when this if statement is executed because sunny does equal sunny. And so we will get that print statement. And of course, if we change the weather to rainy, then we are going to get uh, the second case, which is I'm carrying an umbrella. And the third case, if the weather is cloudy, then we are going to get I'm sad. Now, this is something that might be seem perfectly logical that you would do in programming, is we'd use a string to kind of show these different cases, and then we would have if statements off those strings to actually uh, choose what we want to do. But there is a problem with this, and that is, uh, if you look at how this has changed, <clears throat> basically it's very easy to do, but I've changed the cloudy to be with a capital C as an example. And because I've done that, it turns out that the cloudy with a capital C is not equivalent or equal to cloudy with a lowercase c. So what that means is if you do this, this if statement down here is not going to run because they're not equivalent. And in fact, no print statement or no print will actually occur based on any of these choices because this string is really not equal to any of these at this point, even though the intent was likely that we did want those to be equivalent. So we can actually do better than this. And that is enumerators to the rescue. Basically, enumeration types are gonna allow us to do exactly what we were just doing there, but do it in a much more reliable way. So when we look at this declaration that we have right here, what we've done is we've declared an enumeration type. And it's a new type that will be true in the Swift language for our program. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, um, we declare an enumeration type by saying enum. Notice the pattern continues, like a variable is var, a function is func, an enumeration is enum, and that is the keyword right here. And then it's followed by a name, very similar to func, and a name of a function, var, as a name of a variable. Here, it is the name of our enumeration type. And in this case, we're calling it weather. Now, the other thing to notice is that we put a capital W there. Now, it's not required in the language, but that's the convention. And what we want to do is always capitalize the first letter of a word if it is a type in the language. So just like ints and strings and so forth all have a capital letter to start with, we want our weather type to do that as well. And then we have some open and closed braces, and that's where we're going to put the core of our enumeration inside those braces. <clears throat> and then we have a case statement. So what we do is we start out with case, and the way you wanna think about case is there's all these different cases that we can take into account. We are gonna take into account the case of sunny or rainy or cloudy, and we could continue down the road. Drizzly, windy, you could imagine a bunch of different cases that you wanna cover, and that's why the keyword case is used. And then finally, we actually give it, the three, in this case, the three different cases that we've invented. So we've invented sunny, rainy, and cloudy. And again, these can be any words that you want, um, that are meaningful in your program for what you're trying to do. So this is how you declare an enumeration type. What is interesting about this is that we've really now declared a new type in our program that we can use. So just thinking about it, asking a class, what are the types that we know currently? So hopefully everybody can sort of reiterate what those are. Uh, but they're int, double, string, bool, all four of those we've covered in previous modules. But the fifth one now that we've added here is weather, and now it's a new type that we can use throughout our program, and we've invented it specifically for our program. So let's now use this new type. 
So given the code that we have here, that, and this is the old code, this is before the enumeration, let's go and use the enumeration and see how things would change. So first of all, we're gonna add our enumeration type in, which is what I've done here. So we brought in enum weather uh, and the case of sunny, cloudy, and rainy. That's just what we did before. We've declared the enumeration. Then we're gonna get rid of that string definition and say var weather is of type weather, the same as what we have here. So these are um, basically declaring a weather variable. Notice the variable is a lowercase w, as a weather type with a capital W, and that's referring to this enumeration. Now, since weather is of type enumeration type weather, then it's likely this statement's not going to work anymore because here we're assigning it to a string, and weather is not a string. So sure enough, we take that out and we say weather equals sunny, and the convention here is we put a dot in front of it. So weather Swift already knows that it's of type weather. Weather is cased off sunny, cloudy, and rainy. So if we just say dot sunny here, that's the convention, we're referring to this first enumeration. We're referring to sunny. And the compiler will be fine with that. Now, we're saying here weather equals sunny. Again, we're testing it against a string. So we're going to pop that out, and we're going to bring in the proper condition which is if weather equals dot sunny, right? We're checking to see if this is uh, the first enumeration, then we're gonna print, I'm happy. So we could ask, you know, what would we do down here, right? How would we change that? So hopefully people have some thoughts on that, but the right way to do it is to put in dot rainy, just like we did for dot sunny. So we have dot rainy, and then finally cloudy is replaced with dot cloudy. So this is how we would use an enumeration type. And this is really much more reliable in our code. And let me show you why. What if we decided to say weather equals dot raining? What do we think would happen? And again, I'd open it up to the students to see what they think. So what's interesting is at compile time, we know if I type in dot raining, it wants to go find it that is a, this is supposed to be listed as one of the case opportunities in the enumeration type, and it's not listed there. So this is going to be a compiler error. We'll get that right at compile time, right when we type it, we will see that that's not going to work. And so that's why this is so much safer. When you had strings, you could set the string to whatever you wanted, and it would compile just fine. It might not run right, but now you've got a bug in the code and you're trying to figure out why things aren't working. When you use enumeration types, it's gonna be much more clear to the compiler what you're doing, and therefore it's gonna catch a lot of things at compile time if you make some mistakes. So that is enumeration types. We've covered what they are, very simple concept. How do we declare them? How do we use them? And when we should use them?